Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to use the skills that we just recently developed in pulling those Z values from the table given a probability or an area, and we're going to apply that to a real statistical problem. Uh, and, and you can see now why we have spent a little time building those skills, because now we have a problem like this. Salaries for teachers have a mean of $27,000 and a standard deviation of $6,000. Of course, it's normally distributed, so we know the mean, the standard deviation. Uh, what is the salary cutoff for teachers in the top 10%? What is the salary cutoff for teachers in the top 10%? Now, when you see things like percentages or probabilities, you can kind of think that you're going to probably go to the table, figure out what that probability is, and backtrack to get a Z value, and then backtrack to get your answer. In this case, we want to know the salary cutoff, so we want to know a dollar figure. This is quite different than the other problems we did before where we were given a normal distribution and we were asked, find the probability that your body temperature is greater than this. Find the probability your body temperature is between that. That was asking for probability. Here we're asking for a dollar amount. We're not even asking for a probability. So the thing that you need to kind of consider is that when they give you a percentage, teachers in the top 10%, that's kind of a coded way of telling you the probability or telling you the, the amount of that normal distribution that's shaded. So let me show you that by drawing a picture, uh, because again, a picture will explain it. So always draw a picture if you're not sure what to do. So here's the normal distribution. It's supposed to be symmetric, not perfect. Now when we say, uh, what do you think top 10% would be? Do you think it's going to be down here? Do you think top 10% is going to be here? No, when we say top 10% of anything, we're usually talking about the high achievers, the guys over here. So we want a shaded area off in this tail, and what do you think the area of this is going to be? It's not going to be a percentage, because percentage can't be an area. It'll be 0 0.10, because area being 0 0.10 corresponds to a probability, corresponds to a percentage when you multiply it by 100. So the idea of percentage and probability and area, they all kind of mix together, uh, much like a weather forecast is expressed in a percentage, but it's talking about the probability of rain, right? So this is the key to this entire problem, is to draw this and know that when we look at the salary cutoff, top 10%, it means the area is 0 0.10. That's the, really the key of this whole thing. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to figure out what value of z does this correspond to, but we can't really look it up exactly the way it sits now, so let's go ahead and just do it a little differently. Let's say, what is 1 minus 0.10? That would give us this area over here, all of this stuff. That's going to be 0.90, of course. So let's look up 0.90 in the chart. That will be the area to the left of z, 